Hi guys, I think this is quite a rare interview of Elvis just getting back from the army on his way to Hollywood and an interviewer has grabbed him and asked him some quite interesting questions. I think he's around 25. Let's have a listen. I think uh, probably a lot of the kids don't understand the problems of somebody arriving like that and uh, I think it was handled very well and I know that you're sorry that uh, you weren't able to spend some time with him at that time but you had other commitments. Yes, I, I, that, that's true. Uh... Uh, I'd like to apologize about that, but uh, we had a certain time to be at the hotel and we had gotten off the train. Uh, and well, uh, it's taken a long time to get it. Yeah, I read about this. There was issues with the train and even some eggs were thrown at it. And I think he's on his way to meet Frank Sinatra for the TV special. Fans were disappointed that he hadn't stopped and given them some time. So let's keep listening. He tries to spend a little time in Memphis before he came down too. And how things go up there? Is that when you got those uh, few bruises? That's where I got my, uh, how'd that happen? <laughs> it, 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 it's skating me, see. Uh, we play football, believe it or not, on roller skates. I roller skate. And, uh, That's I, a fast I, game. I was, I, I was stupid enough to do it up to about four nights ago. And I say stupid in the fact that uh, I could have broken an arm or something like that. Yeah. How does Pillow about that? He didn't know about it. Oh, I see, that's the way it happened. But uh, I, I, we play football roller skates, and the idea is to knock the other person down and do his right in the skating rink. So Elvis had really, really missed Memphis. He truly loves Memphis. And when he got back to Memphis, he just wanted to spend time with friends and family and some of the Memphis Mafia and just enjoy himself, play football, go on his roller skates, go to the fun fair, and just love being back at Memphis but he was fully booked up because he had GI Blues to film and the Frank Sinatra commitment and many other things. What do you plan to do for a movie here real soon? Well, uh, I tell you here I go back home for a couple of weeks and then I go to the West Coast for a picture with Mr. Wallace called GI Blues. Yeah, that'd be good. Get your black and uniform. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a story uh, strange enough about the army and uh, <laughs> You haven't really had much of a chance to get back to work yet, but I was a fool to be back in the swing of things. It's so good to be out. Uh, it does. Uh, it's pretty hard to get back adjusted to things, you see, because I've uh, been in the for two years, and I didn't get away from all of them. It's quite a change. So from other interviews I've seen, Elvis did find it difficult to readjust back to being a superstar, the most famous man on the planet. And it took him a while just to get back into his swing and routine of making records, doing his films, doing interviews and doing his performances. But he very quickly got back into things and he was amazing. What about now that you are? Do you have any plans for marriage or anything like that? I have no plans for marriage. It's nothing at all. So you're still very much available. And a massive question that every female around the world was interested in the answer. And he had already met Priscilla at this time, but he sort of did keep that a bit under wraps. There had been some news footage of her and some talk of her in some magazines, etc. But no one knew at this point how things would turn out with Priscilla Presley. Little did we know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this interview. I love the way he is so candid and so natural. He doesn't come across as being famous or full of himself, he just comes across as being a real polite, genuine, very decent, friendly person to interview. Thanks everyone.